I'm going to tell you from my perspective. I done been on vacation mad times. <laughs> I done, I know what the, the f*** goes on on vacation. <laughs> You're not about going to DR. You're <laughs> not going to DR. I've Yo, been outside for two Long, bro, Yo. you're not going to DR. <laughs> you're like, look, look, yes. <laughs> no, at the end you of the day, yeah. I'm not it having ain't, it ain't like it. that. I'm you not having it like that. Like, y'all can trust whoever y'all want, yeah. but I'm not, no. You can't go? I can't go to I, DR, I can't go to Colombia. I know you can. What? Can't. Bro. Okay, so we just talking we about, like, it. different we situations. Love we love well, Colombia. We have to understand something. You like can't talk this anymore. is just I'm gonna say this for He's men a and rich dude, y'all. Like I'm gonna say this on. for men and women, right? Those I ain't are gonna, throwing <laughs> left and right. But that's gonna be here. That's gonna be no, anywhere. No, we're not going. It isn't okay. I'm coming, me and a baby. What up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you like we going? We going? <laughs> nah. Let's do right, whatever you pack. My bag. This is the respect I'm talking about. Let's do it together. <laughs> Bring the nanny. Let's do it together. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy Rico Hundo here at Eight at the Table, and we got a, a dope episode lined up for you. We got a repeater, and then we also got a dope guest. Yeah, <laughs> and then we also got a dope guest. You know, I've been watching him for at least three or four years now. Um, Edgar Berlinga, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the pod or tell the world. You know, they already know who you are, but the viewers, you know, what you got coming up, anything that you have planned so on and so forth, where they can find your Instagram. Um, So, as y'all know, I fought, I fought this past weekend on Saturday, yep. Madison Square Garden. Oh, wow. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was good. Say, uh, I wanted to go. We got, the, <laughs> we got the victory, you know what I'm saying? Uh, It was Puerto Rico versus Ireland. Yep. Um, It was a big fight, 12-round fight, you know, Um, and we destroyed dude, man. You know, we sold it out once again. Killed the numbers, you know, with the ticket sales was amazing. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> now it's just now it's just time for you know relaxation, man. Just chill a little bit. Yeah, just relax. Nice. Who did you fight? Yeah. What person? What was his name? Uh, Jason Quigley from uh, he from Ireland. Mm -hmm. Did he have red hair? Yeah. I was hair, about right? to say, did you know, yeah. did you know him? After the probably after the fight, he had red hair. After the <laughs> fight, <laughs> Are you Puerto Rican? Yeah, Puerto Rican. You grew up there, or are you from Connecticut? <laughs> it's actually no, I'm, from, I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, okay, and okay. the Lower East Side. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So it's... pops is from pops is from from Brooklyn. You know, what I'm saying I was born in White Cove Hospital. Mm. Mom dudes be from Uptown, from Douglas Projects, Lower East Side. You know, so I was always back and forth. I actually see. Um, I don't know how affiliated you are, but I see that you had you know uh, met up and was doing some type of work with Fat Joe, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, That's my legit. brother right there, man. You know, um, we we going on almost five years now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and Joe is the type of dude that he don't really he don't really mess with nobody. You know what I'm saying? But when he seen me, he seen he seen a he seen a talent. He seen something special. And with him, it's just you know what I'm saying. He's like a mentor for me. You know, I ask him for advice. You know, and you know he's been at the level for at that level for for a lot of years, you know, so me coming up, me being hot, me and be that dude coming from New York, you know, he's been that been in that position. So, you know, with him, he's just always guiding me in the right direction. Yeah, that's dope. I think me and Alan, we talk about basically having mentors and, and having the right people in your circle all the time. We had a two hour debate last night. <laughs> that's, that's that's so important, man. Like people don't understand, like, especially coming like you gotta understand, like with, with an athlete or, or rappers or whatnot, like when you come from New York and you lit, it's so hard to stay lit because it's so much distractions. You know what I'm saying? Like rather than you coming from like Texas or like a little town somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, and I, like New York is just so it's just so popping. It's so hard, and the, the difference like, with focus. New York is like the people when, when you coming up, they fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. Yeah. But when you're not on your A game, they the worst of the worst, man. Yeah. So, you know, with me, I know I got to be on my A game at all times. So, did you want to be a boxer or were you just bad and you used to fight and you was like, fuck it, I'm a box? 
I mean, yeah, I had I, I was just like, yeah, always fighting and shit. <laughs> Pops was like, yo, I'm gonna put you in the gym. Like, right, you wanna okay. fight? I'm gonna put you in the gym. Nice. Put me oh, in the gym. you got your dad here. That's so. It's my nice. manager. That's, that's the big boy. I right love there. that. I love that. I love that. That's so, dope. Yeah. So he, dope. he threw me. Does he call you Lil Edgar? <laughs> nah, he Big Edgar? No, nah, I'm Big Edgar. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, so. Do you feel like people like try to get close to you now and like you got to be careful like who you have around and stuff? Hell yeah. But you know, it's crazy that like, so last year, you know, I've been off for a whole year. You know, my last fight was last June and, um, I, I got wound up getting suspended because of the it was like in the fifth round, dude was fine dirty, and I mm. went like on some Mike Tyson shit. And I tried to bite bite him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't get I didn't get to bite him. It was like an attempt bite. <laughs> so long story short, the next day I was on the Jimmy Kennel show where uh, they had my video playing of me trying to bite the dude with Mike That's Tyson crazy. on it, trying to sell his his air bites. You know the mm. the, um, the edibles. Oh wow. <laughs> From there, went to Hollywood Unlock, went to World Star, it just went viral. So then the commission from New York was seeing it and it was like, Yeah, we gotta suspend it. So they suspended oh, me for like the whole year. Uh, last year. So I couldn't dang. fight. Wow. So I felt so I bad for like, the Ireland guy. <laughs> like, I was depressed, you know what I'm saying? I was depressed. I was like, yo, what? like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like not fighting. I'm always fighting every four or five months. I'm always I'm I, I gotta fight. So I was going through it. And I was going through problems with my promotion, with my ex-promotion, you know what I'm saying? So we wound up getting out of that. You know, I had to pay a bag to get out. And then I became a free agent this year. I was a free agent. So I was like the hottest free agent on the block, man. Like, like it was crazy. Like I had, next day I had Floyd calling my phone like, yo, what's up? What's up, Jim? Like as soon as it was announced that I was a free agent, Floyd calling my phone like, yo, what's up, Jim? I want to sign you. Like, and everybody just started flying in. Different promoters just flying in from different, you know what I mean, states. I wound up signing with Matchroom Promotions and, you know, we landed the fight day June 24th in the garden. That's dope, man. What is that like? Like, being a, you know, a kid growing up and then you start boxing and now you got somebody like Floyd Mayweather calling you who's like arguably one of the greatest to ever do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that feeling like when you get around, at least the first time, maybe they've already been around, you know what I'm saying? But that first moment where it's like, damn, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was um well I I, I met Flo like two and a half years ago. I knocked one of his fighters out in the first round. <laughs> yeah. was, he called me like the next day, like yo, he was in uh he was in and he was in the encore. I, I think that's when uh when LeBron and the Lakers they won the championship that year. So they had a big they had a big pool party in the encore, I think yeah, in the encore. And he called me, he, he called my man and my man called me like, yo, champ wanna see like now, like mm-hmm. I was in the hotel. So I was like, fuck it, I threw my shit on. I'm like, yo, let me I drove down there. We went to the we went to the pool party. I was chopping it up with him. He was a, you know what I'm saying? He was official, you know, just giving me wisdom, you know what I'm saying, about the fight game and shit. And he was like, he was just telling like, yo, if I had you sign, this this one I was signed with Topper, he was like, yo, if I had you sign, I'd make you world champion in two <laughs> fights. Like, you see what I did to Tank, you see what I did with Javante <laughs> Davis. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then now. And he, I didn't even know he had my number. He just, I guess it was from from probably um P. Rilla, you know, his best friend that gave him my number. So he called me. He said, yo, man, like, you see that he was telling, yo, you see what I did with Tank? You know what I'm saying? You got that star power too, man. You mm-hmm. can sell. You know, you can fight. You got dynamite in them hands, man. Mm-hmm. But I just felt good. I was like, damn, like, I got Floyd calling my phone. And then last year, I was feeling like, sort of like, I was- Defeated. Nah, like, yeah. unappreciative with, 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 with my ex-promotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they wasn't treating me right. So it was putting me down, you feel me? Where mm-hmm. I thought I wasn't no, I, I thought I was just a regular fighter, you know what I'm saying? But when I became that free agent and my the phone started going crazy, it was like, damn, like I really know my worth, you know what I'm saying? So you said something about like de- like depression when you lost, you know, when you had that situation, and you know you got in trouble and couldn't fight for a year. Like like how do you like how do you still stay motivated and how did you like? continue to like did you did you keep training or like what did you do because depression is a real tough thing when it comes to careers and like getting out of it and still being motivated and still making it happen to get to the point where you are now so what helped you get out of your depression and like really keep moving um I said God like mm-hmm. I started the, the whole year like the whole last year like after my fight I was like I was depressed like I was drinking mm-hmm. I was going out every other day like I caught myself drinking for a whole week straight what I even know and like That's it was crazy. just one time I was just like damn like I'm I feel like an alcoholic. I'm like, what the fuck, man. Like, I was just losing myself. You know what I'm saying? I thought everything was going down the drain. I called my pops. I'm like, yo, pops, I want to quit. I'm about to quit. Like, 
I ain't, I ain't, this is too much stress. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was getting so much backlash that I never got in my life. You know, I, I didn't knock the guy out. I didn't, I didn't. I felt like I didn't look that good in the fight. You know what I'm saying? And I was just getting a lot of critic. You know what I'm saying? On the media, like a lot of people typing my name. You know, on Google, and it's just like I could suspend it. You know, it bite this that. Like it was just negativity, straight negative. Like people commenting on my on my posts, like. Yeah, you're gonna get knocked out. Like you suck. Like and I never, I never had that before. I always had, yo, champ, yo, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Positive, Urgent. positive shit. And that shit hurt me. Like I feel like that's when, like I really came went into a depression because I feel like I never had that before. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm always the guy that everybody's always talking good about. You know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I wound up, you know, I wound up getting out of New York. I wound up, you know, moving my camp to Florida. I just got closer with God. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what really helped me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Looking for the Lord and stuff. And then, you know, just changing my mindset on everything, you know, and just really focusing on the positivity, you know? Cause, and then I wound up noticing, like, you see Floyd, right? Floyd was a type of fighter. The whole world hated him. You know what I'm saying? And he still made the bag. Mm -hmm. he, he made almost, a, you know, he made a billion dollars in boxing. So it's like, I felt like I was in his shoes too. I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, like, if I have 100 people, now I know I got 50 people that love me and 50 people that hate on me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, this Saturday, I know there was half people wanted me to win and half people wanted me to lose. So I, I sort of like started learning like how to just live with that mindset. You know what I'm saying? Where where I'm where I where I'm where I come from, you know, I'm successful. You know what I'm saying? I look good. I'm from New York. Like I got everything, you feel me? So I know I'm gonna get the hate. So mm -hmm. now I just I just learned how to live with it. That's what's up. I think it's very important. Um I think well, in my opinion, you become the most successful when you have the most haters. And you overcome every time. Yeah, that's the best. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I tell everybody, like, Floyd is one of my favorite fighters growing up. And I was like, he made the most amount of money because people were paying to see him lose. And they and they and he never gave it. You know what I'm saying? So you keep that in your mind as you go. But um, I have a question now about your love life, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you were going through that moment, that that year of suspension, you know, when you're going through, you know, your your personal struggles right with depression and whatnot um how was your relationship like was because I, I believe you're in a relationship yeah. right so how was your relationship at home like were you able to like still like keep the house afloat like how were you able to balance out your personal depression from your career and your home life with your you know with your yeah. family and loved ones no it was it was it was tough man i'm not gonna lie like i feel like that's when i was fighting with her the most you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying i feel like a lot of things wasn't right you know like Shit is real, man, you know, especially like when there's a guy like me, like fighting every day, you know what I'm saying? You know, the crib and then you go from, you know how, how it is, like if the crib ain't right, nothing's right. You know what I'm saying? You know how they say happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> so I feel like, man, like it was just a lot of fighting, you know what I'm saying? Because of that, you know, I feel like I knew it was because of me, mm -hmm. even though she was trying to like wait out and trying to like be good and everything, but I just, I couldn't, it was just a lot, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know. After my fight, you know, I hugged and I told you, thank you for this shit because you stood there the whole time, you know what I'm saying, through, through that whole process, like of me going through it, you know, mentally, even her being there, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's tough, man, you know, and me being a father, you know, so I had my son, I had her, you know, not fighting and, you know, money ain't coming in, you know what I'm saying? Money's going on and I got to buy myself out the contract with my bread. It was it was a lot, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy I'm here. Would you say that because you weren't happy that was like the biggest contributing factor to like not the house falling apart but it just not looking the same as it did in the previous year yeah i i feel like you know what i'm saying like a man right in a relationship right i feel like us men we have so much power in a relationship and i feel like in a relationship right like it goes the man first you know what i'm saying the woman and then the kids you get what i'm saying so if if the man ain't right if he's not right mentally you know what I'm saying? If money ain't coming in, there's going to be a lot of chaos going on, you know? So, yeah, it's just, it was hard to deal with, you know? Like, especially me, like, coming, I'm hot, like, that dude, and then from everybody loving me to everybody, I feel like everybody was hating me, and I feel like the most hated boxer in, in, in the world, bro. Like, I was like, yo, every time yeah. I post something, it's, I could post a family pic, I could post something, like, I out of boxing, bro, and people still commenting stuff. I'm like, yo, what? Like, it was just so hard for me to just get off Instagram and just yeah. keep seeing that shit. I'm like, damn. Yeah, don't read the comments. You just gotta cut Don't it read out. the comments. Yeah. Nah, but I, I yeah. learned how to now nah, yeah. read and I start laughing. I'm like, yeah. these dudes exactly because who are they? Like, they ain't got shit going on. They don't know anything about. I just wanted to know, like, so 
I asked that question because it seemed like you realized there was a lot wrong with you and you kind of had to work through some stuff and you were appreciative of her, like, you know, sticking by you, even though it was probably rough on, on her and like just your family in general. Yeah, for sure. Right. So that's why I asked the question because he's saying it's his particular experience, not for every other man. What Alan is saying is that when the whole, when you are already battling the world, right? Like you're battling, you know, your production comp or promotion company, you know, you're battling the, the publicity that the negative publicity that's coming in. You're battling, you know, your Instagram getting all these different types of, you know, negative comments. You're already battling the world. So when you come home, you don't want to battle at home either. Cause that's, if you're battling at home at that point, you don't have any, any, peace. any peace. Yeah. You don't have any real solitude. You know what I'm saying? So but was he, were you starting the fights? It was me and I was me. I was okay. about to say, so why did you was think me. that like she was triggered? Yeah, like yeah. Everything, I was going, going everything I was going through outside, I was bringing it into the house. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You were pushing like, her away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then it was like, mm -hmm. it was just, she'll ask me a question. And it was like, I'll jump like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, mm -hmm. oh, she says something. I feel like she's saying something like she's trying to disrespect me. And I'm mm -hmm. just jumping. She's like, yo, what's up with you? And then mm -hmm. it's like, we're going, you know what I'm saying? That's how everything started. Like, we start going back and forth. That makes sense. But you know how it is when you stressed out, like a lot of shit you can't even see it clear. Like some, especially where it's like, and Dominican, yeah. And she from Brooklyn, so you were. I was about to say, because he said, yo, what's up with you? I said, oh, yeah, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? So it was not, she not a little, he had 15 rounds in the house. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, she, she know, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she feisty. Were you with her before you um got to this part and or this much success in your career? Um, I was already, I wasn't this lit when I got with her. I was already boxing. But I was already, yeah, it was, yeah. We, I, I, got, I, got, I got with her during the pandemic, 2020. <laughs> so I was supposed to fight, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't you, you have a similar story. Yeah, how yeah, old's your baby? <laughs> <laughs> my son too, too. Y'all oh, yeah. nasty. Y'all yeah. yeah. nasty. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? It's my Everybody baby right like, here. I man, can but, relate. Pandemic so baby. So when I got with her, it was like, you know the pandemic, but I was already lit. You know what I'm saying? I have fight drive. I already, I have mm -hmm. the fight. Once the, the the you know the whole New York shit about to yeah. shut down. I had Pop Smoke walk me out, about to walk me out. You know they killed them 2020, mm -hmm. and then I wound up you know, you know through a friend. Meeting her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was easy for me because it wasn't no restaurants open. It was mm -hmm. nothing open. You know, I was like, yo, you coming to the crib? We gonna watch a movie? <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know, so then yeah. Then, so then it was a pandemic. Months couple later, years. I, right. I got her pregnant. Oh you know? my god, so, that is Jada's like me. Same story. <laughs> Jada, this is your story. This is my life. <laughs> me and Jada, pandemic too. Yes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Me and Jada would sit there and we had bonding moments over our struggles. We all had babies <laughs> during the pandemic. All three of us. Pandemic babies. Mm, pandemic different. Pandemic babies. Wow. That's what relationships. We was boo loving. I, did, I just didn't get pregnant. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> so, but so when you, all right, so when you were 20, so I, I'll be honest, I knew about you, I would say 2018, Damn. in December to 2018, right before um, Adrian Broner fought Manny Pacquiao, I believe January 2019, right? Yeah, Damn. Be because I had like, I had special moments for that fight like that, like I actually was, I was part of the showtime when they had the whole training day. And they they were speaking about you, right? So that's when I was like, oh, all right, cool. Like you know, I I like to see the emergence of people too. So I I I was aware of who you were. So now knowing how far you came is dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I and I really respect it. But what I'm saying is now, back on the topic, in 2020, now you're blowing up, right? Boom. Well, you're already blowing up, but now you're at to at that point. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now you're dealing with your girl, and basically. Last year is what, 2022? Yeah. So two years in, you had your first real, you know, um, I guess, obstacle with her, right? Yeah. In your relationship. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that that made y'all stronger and closer together? Like, if God forbid something was to go through, you know, in your life again, do you feel like that y'all, like, I believe that all obstacles are su supposed to bring you closer. You know what I mean? So do you feel like that's something that brought y'all closer together? Or was that something that almost tore y'all down? Um, yeah, it was mm -hmm. rough, man. It was rough because you gotta Especially understand, like, too. when yeah. when when I got with her, we got around my like after my birthday, May eighteenth, 
2020, uh, my first fight back We're in the almost pandemic. Almost a Gemini. <laughs> yeah, my okay. first fight back. My first fight back was July 21st, pandemic, and that was the fight I blew up. Like I caught another first round knockout, and it was just like everybody just started tweeting me. Like it was crazy. Like it just started going up from there. Like and then I fought again in October. Another first round knockout. That's why I knocked out Floyd Mayweather's fighter. Boom. And I fought again. Another first round knockout. Like I was just, and it was just, bro, my G. I was jumping up every every fight. I was getting 50,000, 60,000 followers. Like, it was crazy. So, I never had that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just all that attention. And and then now I'm with her and I'm in a relationship. Now she's pregnant. You know what I'm saying? She got pregnant around, like, September. So... You know, it was tough. You know, now I'm a dad. I was scared. You know, my pops, I'm like, yo, my pops, you know what I'm saying? My pops was less than that bread in me. He like, yo, chill. He kept telling me when I was when I got with him, yo, relax. Like he seen it was just going mm-hmm. it was going hundred miles per hour, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, man. So, you know, me about to become a, a dad and, and the fame and everything, you know, we was fighting a lot, like a lot. We was fighting every like every other day we was just fighting, 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 fighting. And then um, you know, she gave birth. And I feel like from there is when like I started realizing, you know what I'm saying? Like having my son seeing him there and like, damn, I got a family now. Like, you know, and then one thing my pops always told me, like, you never want to let another man, you know what I'm saying, like, raise your kid. You know, so that was something for me too. Like, damn, I gotta now I gotta put my work boots on and That's get dope. busy, you feel me? Nice. Is your baby a Gemini? <laughs> you yeah. <know>. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now you're still a Yeah, Gemini, yeah, June June 9th. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he just had a birthday. Oh, happy, happy yeah. belated. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That's dope. I didn't know I was sitting next to a big old star. Yeah. <laughs> I thought all, he, said, <laughs> he said that she got pregnant around September. So I'm like, wait, I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> wait, is, is Gemini his name baby. Edgar too? Huh? Is his name Edgar too? No, nah, no, nah, Chosen. Oh, okay. Chosen. Child, I thought you looked familiar. I just thought she was one of my friend's exes or something. Like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. But so yeah, anyways, let's go. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get into um, icebreaker questions with you. Uh, so this is, we ask three questions. We do this with all our guests. Little icebreaker uh, cue in the episode. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and ask the first question. Don't do mine. <laughs> what is yours? A drink? Okay. You don't even know that yours. Has, that has become yours, but that's actually mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to go to dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Dinner, uh, girls or anybody? 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 I say Jay Z. Jay Z. I was I was close. We was I was I seen him. We was in Carbones. They shut Carbones down. It was just me and then he was during the pandemic. Was it during the pandemic? No, it was like a year and a half ago. And I seen him. Yo, my heart dropped. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jay Z. Like, and I know the owner. I know the owner. You know what I'm saying? Of Carbones. So it was just us. Literally, it was shut down. It was like two o'clock in the morning. It was shut down, and he was in the he was in the private room with with Beyonce and his daughter. Uh-huh. And he walked out. Yo, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, my God. came out with his dress and all. He's like, and my my man, you know, from from from, uh, from Brooklyn, it was there. They knew him and stuff. I was I wanted to ask him for a picture. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. That's the only that's the only time I've ever got nervous. You heard in front of anybody. Like, yeah. I done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. Damn. <laughs> Dope. Jay Z did? Yeah. Let me rub your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff it a little. <laughs> All right. So the next question is like, what is your like just your go to drink? Um What you drinking with Jay Z? <laughs> yeah. On your dinner with Jay Z. What are you he, he still got that douce, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> do you say it is? Yeah. Have you ever tried Louis the Thirteen? Louis what? Louis the Thirteen, the co- it's cognac, right? No, no, oh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. It's okay. Let's what go. is it? <laughs> Louis the Thirteen. It's a cognac. It's a it's a cognac, and it's like they savor it. Like they literally measure out every drop, and I think a shot is like a thousand dollars or something. I don't drink. Oh, I was I just curious. I was about to say, I ain't never heard of that child, and that don't seem like nothing I, I need to have. <laughs> I just was wondering if you had it before. If you, you had it? If you try it, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so the last icebreaker question is this. If you could have, you only got 24 hours to live, you get to choose anybody 
in the world, right? <laughs> 24 hours to live, you get to have an intimate, a sexual intimate moment with them. Yeah. <laughs> Who you picking? <laughs> Shit, my girl. Yeah. I was like, let me see if Rico's gonna remix it. She can fight. She can uh, fight too. Yeah, huh? She got the name. I say anything. She got the head in a wrench. He's like, nah, chill, bro. Yeah. Oh, she got it. You're gonna be at Madison Square Garden Part Two with her. I go home, I go home right now. I think my should be outside the door. Right I respect now. her. I respect her. Shit, when her birthday is like. <laughs> she got Aries. Oh, okay. That's dope. What is like it? Aries. Yo, Aries and, um, and Taurus got some type of thing going on. Like, they yeah, they got right next to each other. I think. That so basically, the, the topic Money. for today is um, there was a study done in the University of Sydney. And basically, they concluded that uh, women are more attracted to earners, which are basically people to have the network, the resources, and the potential to earn, opposed to the person who already comes with the wealth. So they inherited. Or inherited the wealth. So let's say, let's say like, you dating a girl, your girl, right now, and right now she's seeing you do two first round knockouts. And you now she's also seeing you have all Floyd and all these other people calling you. She's more likely to be attracted to your potential of where you're about to go versus then if, well, I don't want to use Floyd. So like, <laughs> somebody else was to just come in who was already at that, at that wealth part and he already, yeah, it was just given. So like, there's no real ride, right? There's no real like growth. It's like she's just coming into something versus she's going to be going with you as you escalate up. They're saying that the study says that women are most likely going to be with the man. Yeah, exactly. It's like getting the stock early. What's like, the reasoning behind it? So the reasoning yeah, is essentially going back to um, um, hunting and gathering the ability to gather resources. So when a woman sees that, because if you have wealth and a lot of money, you could lose it and then you don't know how to get it back. So the rational, like to rationalize it is saying like, if you're able to earn, that means you can always earn. You might lose it, but you'll be able to earn it again, which means you can always go out and hunt and I don't have to worry about it. So if you break it down into like the simplest terms, it means that he's probably some, some level of intelligence, some level of, of grit, ambition, grind, some level of, uh, Results. Good judgment, resourcefulness, no, result. yeah, resourcefulness, smartness. Um, <laughs> smartness. Um, okay, so I, okay. So it's like basically saying like the chick is she'll go with the she'll go with the dude that has the bag, basically. No, well no, that sounds what well, Aaron just said. That sounds like an all around good guy. Oh, he didn't get it who, yet. Who, who I want to marry? The guy who yeah. already has the bag. Okay, you you date a guy that already has it. He's already set in his ways, more than likely. Super. Right? So <laughs> you have to put up with whatever it is that he wants you to put up with. Whereas if you're with a man who has the potential and you add on to that or you 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 um provide your your loyalty and you go for the ride with him and you know with your partnership how far he can go or even further, whatever, you, can, you, you feel more mold, you could be able to mold them. Yeah, and you can you feel more um content in your space or you feel more like you're a part of a partnership rather than someone just having money and then now it's like all right whatever he says goes in a way you know and is he really here like do I really know this person's um character like is he here to stay or if he already made it like you know how do I know that I'm not just someone mm -hmm. that can be thrown away so I think that also is like important as a woman like I want to date someone who you know, I want to know what it took for you to get here. I want to appreciate all your hard work. I want to know that, like, you know, all right, you're willing to do what you got to do to, one, take care of your household, you know, to always make sure that you're going to be comfortable and that makes me comfortable. I don't think that, I don't think that that really is. When you say that, like, okay, with women now, um, they feel like if he's not an earner, then don't even be, it's, that's not true. Because most women are really, riding with men and sometimes they don't make it to their potential but they still do have faith in them they still hold them down they still help them get through like tough situations like that's like saying like in your lowest point where you were going through what you were going through 
your girl stuck through it. She still stayed there and she still was mm. working with you and being there for you. So it's like a lot of times people say, oh, women are not going to be loyal or hold it down, but... No, but connect the two. Mm -hmm. Listen to the connect the two. He's an earner. He's an earner. So she's more likely... He's going to get back to it. Yep. You can't so talk shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, unless you're just an insecure man that can't get anything better. But hold on. I, I hate that you don't have a mic because nobody heard what you just said just now. But I'm, 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 not, I'm only going to put this up and I'm going to take it down and re-edit and then put it down. No, because I really want to bring up the fact that you said that because so when we it. talk about... Uh, Rico, can you re-say what he just said? So my hand. basically what was said was if, for example, in his situation, let's say like he goes through whatever he goes through with him and his life and his girl is there watching it, right? She's still going to stick by his side because he's proven that he's an earner. He's proven and, and and supply results of where he's going, even, you know, with the potential that he has shown. Now, on the flip side, if a girl isn't cooking, isn't cleaning, and then she's also talking crazy, a dude is not going to put up with it. But if she was cooking, cleaning, and taking care of the home, and that was the, you know, staple of their relationship, and she talked crazy, he's more likely to deal with it because she's doing everything else. So I like that that was said on the flip side because I feel like a couple times on this show, we've spoke about when the woman is the earner or the woman makes the more money, how not even for some reason, for, you know, viable reason, she talks to the guy crazy or, you know, she makes the rules or, you know, she puts her foot down and the guy just has to follow suit. Because she's the earner and she makes more money. And you guys are kind of saying the same thing. That if a woman doesn't cook or a woman doesn't clean, the guy kind of just has to shut up and put up with what, whatever. Because she's a provider. Yeah, because she's a provider. Well, and if, if she wasn't, then she wouldn't be able to talk to you any kind of way. No, it's, it's That's not what we're saying. Um, it says 90% of women preferred having a romantic relationship with a man who earned his money. Only 5% wanted to establish a romantic relationship with a man who inherited his money. So I think if we just look at it from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So a man who went out and made his own money versus a man who was given his money, inherited, whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to classify it. So I think if we look at it in, those, in like, like those two basic terms, I think you look at the characteristics of each type of person mm -hmm. who has this money. So wherever the source of it, so did this, did the source of this person's money come from their intelligence, their decision making, their judgment, their, their, um, their grind, like, you know, their connections, everything that they're doing to make it happen versus the source of this person's money. It came from their rich grandfather, mm -hmm. you know, and so it is possible because we, we, I don't want to, I don't want to judge these people, whatever, but it, it is possible that they may not have the same level of grind, the same level of grit, the same level of intelligence, you know, to, to earn money or to even have money, but for it being given to them. Mm -hmm. So I think if we look at it from like the more simpler, um, the more simpler perspectives, I think it, it, it makes this an easier and like less confusing conversation. Cause I feel like it's a lot of, Jumping around. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. yeah. And I would prefer to be with the person that I know can get it rather than someone who, all right, if something happens and you, you were given this money and you lose it or you make a bad investment and now you don't know what to do and you're looking at me and I'm looking at you, I'm going to be like, oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because I don't Honey, know. I don't got it. <laughs> the thing is that we got to remember is that see, the proof is in the pudding. And in order to be classified as an earner, you must see somebody earn it. Mm -hmm. Like, Maybe you could have earned this 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you don't still got that same level of grind in you now at 40 as you did at 30. Right. Oh. You, you know what I'm saying? So if a woman came into that man's life at 40 and he's just reaping the benefits of what he earned 10, 20 years ago, yeah. he might not be an earner right now. You know what I'm saying? So it, I think that really... When you can witness, and this is my personal opinion, a woman could witness you grind and make it, whether you start off at 100 or start off at 50, she's still witnessing your success. You know what I'm saying? She's witnessing, your, she's witnessing what you have earned. She's witnessing you reaping the benefits of what you sold rather than just coming in when it's already been, you know, you know, panned out. You know what I'm saying? 
And I think there's a level of appreciation of being in that journey. Like, we had a viral moment, right? When we had what you bring to the table. And we also had viral moments on on 50-50s mm -hmm. where we were comparison when we were comparing Nikki, shout out to Nikki, when she was saying that, okay, let's say if I was building this company and she was answering the phones, mm -hmm. she feels that like she's entitled to 50% because she was answering the phones, but I built the whole company. Mm -hmm. Even though she had a small role, she had a role. Mm -hmm. And a woman that has a role feels more, you know, involved in a relationship than if she was to come in and this company was just already here and she's just taking trips and she's just doing all of this. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be a pet. Mm -hmm. And that's how I look at it. And you can you feel like you can be replaced. But that role you can be replaced. If, if you can, like, you definitely can be Unless you're an asset. Helen, stop it. I was about can to I say. Can I ask a question, though? <laughs> wait, wait. I, what, what, what does Edgar this? think? Like, I, yeah, I wanted to ask Because I agree. Question. We're not doing that. Can I ask a question? Um, I, like what she's, I like what you said when you said, like, about women, like, going through the process. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like women would rather, women would rather go through the process, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and see the growth in a man, you know, becoming something. Mm -hmm. And that builds a better, a stronger bond with you and that person. That's why yeah. we're attracted to that. Yeah. Attractive. I want to be proud of you. I want to, like, I know what you've been through. <laughs> but even as a man, though, like, I, I've, I've had conversations with men who were, like, rich, and they were talking about, oh, you know, like, she has this opportunity, that opportunity, and she doesn't want to do anything with it, or like she's not as motivated, or she's not a hustler, she's not able to be an earner. And I feel like, on top of you not being a part of whatever your man is doing, and then not even being able to earn on your own, I feel like that also is like it causes a rift in a relationship where like, like resentment maybe. Yeah, because it's like okay, I'm making this money, and I feel like I'm this girl, like you know, I can't even uh, depend on her to add to. I have a question. <laughs> what do you right. what do you require what do you need a woman to bring to the table um, great question Jaden that's a good question <laughs> um, you know I feel like um, I want one thing I don't want is for a woman to want to depend on me you know what I'm saying like I feel like you gotta you know obviously get make sure the house is clean you know what I'm saying cook um, I'm a go. I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying. So, I I, I I'm gonna go get it regardless. You know what I'm saying. But I feel like she should have that mentality as well, that hustler mentality. You know what I'm saying. Like, like for me, my relationship. Like, I don't see my girl working a regular job nine to five. Like, I be telling her like, I see you way bigger than what you think mm -hmm. you are right now. Like, you beautiful. You got your. You know what I'm saying. You got your followers. You got girls that you cool with. Like. You know what I'm saying? Use that as an advantage. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have to grow and to want to be a hustler. You get what I'm saying? And not just sitting back and always the waiting or thinking much, some, something's going to come to you. You get what I'm saying? So that's something, like, I love, like, is to to have that hustler's mentality. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm a dude that, that I get out there and I grind, bro. Like, I'm in the gym. I'm working. I'm taking punches. I'm fighting. I'm doing five-month camps, you know what I'm saying, away from, from my family. So sacrifice, too, you know? Stuff like that. I want to break it down into two other questions too. Sorry. So basically, you're saying you want a woman who's gonna have her own wave and have her own things going on, but as long as like you know she still can take care of the home, but you don't want her to just basically like just be up under you with everything you have going on. You want her to have her own things going on, her own hustle, her own dreams, and you'll be able to support that. Yeah, and, and that's like, a part of something you need. Yeah, to bring and, to the table. and for me, I'm not trying to sit here and say like I don't like it, like. Mm -hmm. It, I don't. I don't care for. I mean, I do care about it, but it's like it's not some that I'm home and I'm like, yo, bro, this, yo, she got to, you know, what I'm saying like, yo, she got to do something. like, nah. I just know how it feels like when I was younger and my and I used to ask my father for, yo, pops, can I get money? Yeah. Yo, pops, can I go here? Yo, it's annoying. You get what I'm saying? So I know as a woman, you know, before I got with her, you know, she was in the, she was in the nightlife, so yeah. she was getting, you know, her fast money. money. You get what I'm saying? And when she got with me, it was like I was like, yo, like. That nightlife shit is not happening. Mm -hmm. You're not doing that no more. You got to figure it out now. And I told you, it's better. To, I said, fast money. When you get fast money, it, that shit comes and goes. It's in your, it's in your hand. Mm -hmm. And the next moment, the shit is out your hand. You got what I'm saying? You don't appreciate it. So I feel like when you work hard for your shit and you grind and you busting your ass for some, you start appreciating your money more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. So my second part to the question is, um, do you feel like a man is supposed to provide for their family though? Like, do you feel like 
relationships should be 50-50? Or do you feel like, for the most part, men are usually supposed to be the providers? What are the roles of men and women? Um, For me, I feel like it's depending on where you're at in life for a man. You know, like, mm-hmm. you got a guy that, you know, if you and his, you know, his dude's working at Walmart, you know what I'm saying? He can't do, he can't do much. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, my theory is I take care of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I take care of the bills. I take care of the car. No, I take care of everything. You know what I'm saying? I try to, like, wave as much bills as possible off her plate. You get what I'm saying? So she, but that gives her, like, the opportunity to focus on herself. You get what I'm saying? She should be able to work on herself now. Now that she ha- she doesn't have anything, like, she got the bills taken care of. You know what I'm saying? She has authorization to my credit card. Like, she, she has that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, uh, how can I put it, like, if you're in a certain like level money wise yeah, bracket bracket, you know, if your tax bracket is something different, then I feel like as a man, okay you should now. you should be out there mm-hmm. putting it down for your family. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if you know she's the one, you know. Yeah. Right. This is separating the men from the boys. Yeah, exactly. This. So, um, <laughs> Jada, he is not from Connecticut. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, he's not from Connecticut. He's not. Right. I'm from Connecticut. No, I rock with it. From Connecticut, like. Right, right. <laughs> No, I rock with it. This is right up my alley because this is this is this is boss talk right here. I've been trying to have these kind of conversations. Yeah. No, no, they don't know. They don't know. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm on. So anyway, I was about to ask you another question. Um, <laughs> um, do you feel like um, you ever feel like it's too much pressure, or or like do you feel like you would like um in your relationship like her to pick up any like slack? I'm not trying to ask your business, but like, do you ever feel like and she it's from a Brooklyn lot of pressure? Too, just- um, I don't want to get beat down. So just, she's I can't fight. <laughs> she's so from Canada. So, do you ever feel like you? It's a lot of pressure to be like the provider or to be like the. Do you feel like it's the leader? You, you feel like you're the leader of your family. Do you feel like you know that's what you're supposed to do, or do you ever feel like it's too much pressure? Or no, nah, I, I don't take it as pressure. Does it feel I, good to be the provider? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It feels mm-hmm. good. It feels um empowering. Feel, yeah, like I just. Mm-hmm. I feel good because that's how I was raised. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My dad raised me like that. And I'm I'm a type of dude. I'm 20. I feel like he need to come sit down. Right. I'm, 20, <laughs> I'm 26, but pop. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> microphone on there. <laughs> <laughs> you come sit down right next to me. <laughs> I'm 26, right? But I was... Oh, me like, too. My, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rico. You still 22. So, so, but I'm not a... I don't feel like I'm a 26. I feel like I'm... Like 35. Mom, nah, like 50. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, I feel right. like I'm an old head, you know what I'm saying? Like right. my mindset, you know, like I feel like I'm an old head sometimes mm-hmm. and like, you know, I'm raised with my pops and a lot of OGs, you know what I'm saying? Dudes from the mm-hmm. street that just been there, done that already, and they just, you know, guided me. But it feels good, you know what I'm saying, to be the the alpha mm-hmm. male in the relationship. Like I feel good. Like, yeah, I got I, I got a grind, you know what I'm saying? I got my son, I got my mom, yeah. I got my I gotta get to it. <laughs> Like they be bro, that, like last shit when I when I bought out when I got when I bought myself out the contract it was that was six figures and paying taxes like bro I had I was down to like basically nothing man like and the only and my like my girl was like yo like I, I sell my I sell the ba- I sell the, my bags like mm-hmm. all the, all these bags that you got me you know Chanel mm-hmm. bags ten right. ten bands twelve bands like mm-hmm. yo I sell these bags I sell my watch I'm like right. now nah, we good. Meanwhile, I know we not good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, nah, we good. I'm good. Exactly I'm good. I'm good. I'm right. good. You saw, sure? like, like, I'm good. We good. Don't worry about that. We but good. But that creates the hunger in you too. Like, I gotta get it. I gotta get yeah, it. Yeah, that's an earner though. That's an earner. Never, this never, is my like, last question. I swear. That's this is my last question. <laughs> I swear. Okay. You want this bag? Do you feel like so now that you're a new parent? Do you feel like, um, parenthood is difficult, right? It's a lot of work. Do you feel like? That's enough for sometimes for a woman to like, you know, do in a relationship, like to take care of the household and make sure that the fam- the, the children are taken care of. Do you think that's a, like a lot of work and that should be like respected? Like, you know, do you respect that? As- Super. I mm-hmm. feel like, um, I'm not going to lie, like even when I be with my son for a whole day, I'm like, God. Exhausted. I'm like, like, Put it down. Me, and don't get me wrong. We be going back and forth. Like, she be like, I be, I be, I be training. Like, I be... Fucking, I'm being in the gym four hours. It's and then she's like, I'm with Chosen every day. And I'm like, <laughs> Shit, all right, let me stay with him for one day. And it, like today, I, yesterday I was with him all day. And I'm like, yo, my son is, yo, that dude has so much energy, bro. I'm like, holy shit. Like, damn, like, this is a job, man. Like, it is a job. Like, 
whether or not you want to look at it like for women that got kids, man, like it's it's a job, bro. And it's it's I know it's 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 difficult, you know what I'm saying? Especially with me, like I'm in camp five, six months. I'm not even home. Like I'm in another state and she's by herself. She's w- with the baby every day, every day with the baby, every day. So it's like that's a job. So literally. Yeah. I rock with your answers. I respect it. I'm gonna be nicer to my baby dad because he <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be nicer to him because Got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yo. I'm glad you passed Jay's I'm going to make, um, make some hamburger help him with that second joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. I would have had some, some different. She would have shit it on me right No, no, no. Because yeah. I know. Because I, I, I kind of knew your, what your answers were going to be. But I kind of wanted to put that perspective out there because. How you knew? Because because your daddy's sitting right because here. Because your daddy's <laughs> sitting right there. You, can, you already know. Not only is your dad sitting right there, but. I've dated men that have been providers. I'm not going to lie. And so I'm just trying to get the conversation out there because a lot of times we get a lot of feedback from people that just don't understand certain things. And I'm just like, let us talk to a man that is a provider that is in a point in his life where he, because we talk about a bunch of stuff sometimes that is like, okay, let's talk to men who can relate to this topic in the way that I'm trying to explain so if I'm talking to people all the time that haven't experienced a certain level, which I talk about all the time, sometimes I just want to have the conversation with somebody who can get where I'm coming from. Because I'm just like, sis, I don't understand what you're talking about. Because I am attracted so to and date providers. And so when I hear a man that is not just providing, but like, you know, a man who has like morals and understanding, yeah. you know, he's putting the work in. He like, it's kind of like when we talk about gender roles and like the 50-50 stuff, it's like, I wanted to you to get that that part out so like we can stop having these. Oh baby, they're gonna be in the comments. Uh, I know. You already know they're gonna yeah. be in the comments. Yeah. How, never how, stop. how they don't wanna provide now. Yeah. Are we in a way shaming men who can't provide? No, we're not what, doing that. No shame but, there. But, just making that up, Alan. Yeah, no, because he he no, but he, he touched he on that. that. He said if you're working at Walmart, there's not much that you really can do. Right. But so when you're in a different tax bracket, we're talking about a different type of lifestyle right so i mean no we're not shaming those men at all you know what i'm saying but at the same time what does hold true is every man wants a woman who's still going to be doing something right right nobody Everyone has a job that's what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah. You know? but sometimes sometimes right when you have a woman and you're doing everything she thinks she doesn't have to do anything Right? I don't know what not I mean, doing but anything but, is. But, 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 Who's better? But no, no, no. <laughs> we're not saying... what they say. No, because then we could say the same thing I about... Ju- but Are you saying but you but nobody not, should be you, choosing better? But, 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 shit. Real quick. Are you saying you go to work and you come home, the house is a mess, there is no food on the table, she got an attitude. Is that what you're saying? Because I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. Like she's what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is... Break it down. What I'm saying is, even if a guy... Let's say if a guy, like, you're living a decent life. I'm not mm-hmm. saying no poor life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Let's say you're living a decent life. Let's say three you know, square meals a day. Three square. <laughs> well, nobody's really home. Well, he ain't really home because he working, right? But you're living a decent life where you have a home. You're not in like a, a 800 square foot apartment. You feel me? That's sixteen hundred dollars a month. Like you're, li- you're living a, a decent life. Let's say it's twenty five hundred square feet, whatever. Parking. Right? Yeah, you got a driveway and all that. You got a car. You got a car note, and you got no kids. I'm gonna take kids out of it because I know kids is crazy to deal with. Like, I understand. So you have no kids, and it's like, yo, yeah. So since since if I'm that guy, and I'm like, yo, even if the house is clean, the, it's not. It's never a point where it's like, okay, you just cooking and cleaning. Mm-hmm. It really comes to a point where it's like, what are you doing for you? Right. I right? agree. So like, if it, it's unattractive when it's like. You don't want to do anything for yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, some dudes, I can't speak for all dudes, don't mind if uh, if he is that woman's world, right? <laughs> like, to me, it's too much. I don't want to be your world. Like, I want you to have friends. I want you to have a life. I want you to go out. I want you to do it respectfully with, you know, your responsibilities in mind. And also, I want you to boss up too. Like, I, like, I don't, I'm not going to speak for you. So but, but how I take it, right? When you, when, when you, when you, when you, when you come from a bottom and then you get to the top, you want to have a woman who has the ability to, to do that and showcases it. Whether or not she does it is a different, different game. You know what I'm saying? But like, like 
go ahead and I want to see you elevate because you was with me while I was elevating. And I know you want to elevate because you told me what, all the things that you do. You told me you shared your dreams with me. Mm -hmm. So your dreams don't stop just because I respond. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Men, men. Can, I, can I interject? The, the thing about that is a lot of times a partner Support. has to give up and sacrifice exactly. their pursuits, their passions, <laughs> X, Y, and Z in order for the other person to succeed. Mm -hmm. So the thing is this, if you've reached your mountaintop, are you willing to now sacrifice or at the, you know, at least at the same level so that your partner can reach the level of success that you... Would you answer the phones too? You know I think that... You well, better be in, in my honest opinion, I don't think that that's true. I think the most of the well, time... Would you ever answer the Wait, phones? wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, I, I fine, 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 fine. What I'm saying is... If we, I feel like when it comes to women sacrificing during this process, it it usually stems down to a kid and a family, which is a requirement of sacrifice. Now, if you ask me, would I be a stay-at-home dad? Yes, we know. <laughs> and how much money is she bringing it in? Might have now. <laughs> no, no, no. How much money is she bringing in? <laughs> well, let's swap. Because I get, I get a nanny couch. if we lit. I get a nanny. We are going to figure this out. Yeah, Alan's wife, Yumi, stopped me from a DWI. <laughs> she, she knew people, She right? knew the cops. I got a question for the girls. For the home thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, for a man, right? What, 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 what's your expectations for a man, like, <clears throat> when he comes home? Like, for instance, with me, I feel like since I do every fucking thing, I pay everything, <laughs> I pay all the bills, I, I go home. If I want to drop my drawers on the, on the, on the mm -hmm. floor, I could do that. Do it. I'm going to talk shit a little bit, but do it. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, we're always going to get annoyed a little bit, but, like... I'm going to get annoyed because I, I just right. spent the whole day cleaning after... I, I just... I just cleaned. I ain't spent the whole day cleaning. <laughs> I, I'm not saying the whole day, but come on. I clean the house. Take take your shorts off the floor. I'm not going to trip. There's a, there's a, there's a wait, place wait, wait, where that goes. Wait, hold on. Time out. See, but this is where... Oh, go ahead, Aaron. I know. I'm just, I'm just being the, like... I'm not, doing, I'm not doing it on purpose. Like, eh, I'll pay all this shit. Not, Let me just take my shit over here. Pick that up. Not like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah. low key. I'm doing that. I'm that type. Of, I go. I go to the crib. I leave my shit all over the place. You know. I'm what just saying? saying just be. A, just be a little bit more respectful. Huh? Honestly, the only, <laughs> the only thing I expect. I'm expecting some sex. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> you had a long day. Cool, but I've been waiting for you to come home. Like. Put put your draw. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me just take the drawers off. Mm -hmm. I'll put it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. What a woman expects from a man, if he's the provider. I mean, wait. What you said? Like he takes care of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some entitlement that comes with it. I mean, you he asked. No, he we asked us something. Let, 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 like, yo, I'm gonna what is that? Here. That's fine. That's little. But you asked a question. Like you, you're yeah. saying is like, is that okay? Like. Yeah, I think that. that but why do you complain? I requested do say, but like, um, not complain, but like my period might be it's coming. Okay, it's okay. Week. I have an attitude for no reason. I can't help it. All right. Well, I might say a little something, something, but the dinner is on the stove. Because my thing is this, right? <laughs> if certain things are being done, right? If if a dude ain't complaining about paying the bills and paying for everything in the car note that you choose. You shouldn't be complaining about where he puts his shoes. But let's not sit here and act like robots. We're gonna have, we're gonna bicker, we're gonna fucking have yes, disagreements. But we're not robots. Complain, but no, have conversations. Yeah, Sometimes you just having a, a moody day. You just like, damn. Later. You you might be like, you know, y'all both might be moody. He might come in oh, and he no, might okay. do it in a way where you feel like, okay, <laughs> you you what? What am I saying wrong? I'm not gonna be no. Per I'm not gonna be no. Perfect I'm not gonna bitch. walk past. I might have an attitude on day. the ground and just be like, all right. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. No, like, just this is the thing. Down. It's going to get done. Look, it's going to get done. Go ahead. Go ahead, Aaron. She's We're triggered. Waiting for, I was waiting for that. She's triggered. <laughs> triggered Aaron. Her name is T.E. <laughs> yeah, but Aaron, but you, but let's talk about it. Aaron is, it, she works hard. She got her shit going on. She can pay for whatever the hell she wants. If anything house shit is going to trigger So Aaron. she's going to be annoyed. I guess it's different, I right? Another I'll, question. I'll, I'll uh, wait, 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 he got, oh. got another question. You want to answer it? No, I got another question. Okay. Go, 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 go. Don't forget it. So, so and I, it, I'm not going for My husband and I actually had this <laughs> conversation the other day. My husband, he was like, I take pride in knowing that I have a roof over our heads. I pay white, white, lights, gas, water. Cable, Peloton, this, that, and the other. I do pay my own car note. Um, <laughs> but I'm, he, I'm sorry, he's the kind of man that takes pride in it, just, you know, similar to what you said. 
Um, but that also puts, I understand what his responsibilities are. So I, my responsibilities are maintaining the home. Although I do work a regular nine to five, well, you know, however many hours I work a regular <laughs> job and I also do this. And yeah, let's also, not forget that. She's a lawyer. And she's not working on regular nine to five. She's a lawyer. Yeah. And, um, I'll tell you. <laughs> like, I'll tell you <laughs> off camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like you ain't want to do that on camera. <laughs> um, so th th there is a lot involved. And I understand that. I'm sorry. I understand that that's his role and this is my role. And I'm totally fine with it. However, don't leave your shit on the ground because you're making more work for me. Because just like you just were at work, you was at work for 50 hours a week, so was I. Plus, I had to take the time to make sure the house was right. Plus, I had to cook. Plus, I had to do everything else. Go to so, the grocery store. Right. It's, 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 <laughs> so I, my, my complaint is just always, just don't make more work for me. I don't mind taking care of the home because I want it done right and I want it done my way. You know, I don't want it half-assed or nothing like that. No. But don't make more work for me. Don't leave shit around the house. Like how hard? I mean, I'm just saying. Like how hard is it? Is she? She? She's a lawyer though. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I ain't got that much going on. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can All tell. Right. You can tell she don't play when she. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, yeah. I, I ain't work, doing that. I work don't from do home. that shit. I'm a baker. I'd be like, can you just please? Yeah. Uh, I'm a. I'm a baker. I work from home. So when I have my time in the kitchen and people come and they you know, leaving their personal dishes and I get, I get upset because how hard is it for you to wash your own shit? I'm in the kitchen. This is my domain at, during these hours. Yeah. I'm not washing y'all shit. <laughs> like, I don't get paid to wash y'all shit. Like, I have to clean up after myself and continue and keep going. I don't have time to, to wash what y'all done put down mm -hmm. and y'all done cooked while I was baking and now y'all just left all these, I'm not <laughs> doing it. Like, that, that makes time for me. I don't get paid for the time to, to clean up y'all shit. Uh, and basically it's, it's hard to different. be a working woman and a, a a woman that takes care of the home but again i just be having to do it cause <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your what was your uh, other question um don't drink that yet I'm not oh that. um okay so like right if <laughs> if if the man right pays for everything he's doing everything financially wise is he entitled to do whatever Sex he wants fuck. like not cheat no. Not cheat. Not cheat. I'm not saying going out there cheating, but like... I was on your side. <laughs> nah, what are you saying? I'm, I'm trying to... I want to know. Like, yeah. he in, His palm's sweating, y'all. He's yeah. entitled to throw the pants Aaron, on the ground? The what? She the other way. I, I, I want to understand what he's saying first. No, no, no. Not let's, cheat, let's but like, I don't know. Like, like, you wanna, you go, no, no, no. Wait, let's yeah. let him fully like, get you it out. Go, if you want to go on vacation... Okay. One, one at a time. If he wants to go on vacation, if he wants to... You know, like... Flexibility. You want some flexibility. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. I'm not like, saying cheat. I just want to know y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah, get married. It, <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like, and then you show up with a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You got to put a ring on it. You know? Vacaciones. Then you, then go you can vacation? go on the vacaciones, but you're not going to be doing it. I did that, though. <laughs> I did that. But where but are y'all locked in, locked in? You're not married, but engaged. You guys can have whatever understanding. Whatever happens under y'all roof is y'all business. Everybody's household is different, mm -hmm. and that's what people don't understand. So yes, you might want you might be able to be like, all right, I'm dropping my jaws down. Make sure you take care of it. Cool. Me in my situation, be like, I'm dropping my jaws down. Shit, I'm dropping mine too. I get to it when I get to it. You know, everybody's situation is different. I might be like, you ain't going on vacation, and then in your situation. She may be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's important to lock in because then you guys can have your own understanding yep. and do whatever the fuck you want in your household. It doesn't matter. Well, I'm not locking in if I can't go on vacation. Alan, so... Yeah, why don't you yeah, have so a Alan, Can someone repeat uh, uh, Alan? Alan? Aaron is. Aaron is. I know you're excited. <laughs> Aaron's repeating We all are. It. I'm just going to need someone to repeat what Alan oh, yeah, said. I'm, I'm going to do it. Aaron so was. Alan is over here talking about a microphone and he <laughs> believes that there are social pressures outside of your relationships, or I guess society, um, that I guess m perhaps will frown upon a man being able to have freedom in his marriage. Is that what, is that what you were saying? Yeah, but by freedom we mean traveling. We're not talking about <laughs> disrespect. We're not like like for instance, right? I got I got I got a guy that you know what I'm saying that one of my boys that he 
pays for everything. He's like the big dog, and he's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> do whatever the fuck I want, nigga. Like, I'm Some Rico I'm shit. Going, yeah, I'm going over here, but he got his girl, but he's doing whatever he wants, and I'll be like, damn, you crazy, bro. Yeah, but that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> that's I mean, we're going to talk off camera, bro. I just bro. feel like, let's really wild about <laughs> it. I hang out with him. If I feel like if I got a provider, if I feel like I'm taking care of him and my household is good, why the, why the hell can't he so, go on vacation? That's cool. No, he go can't on vacation. hang out with his with his boys. That's not even the issue that I'm having. My issue is oh, you got a girl. You don't say she done been through there. But just respect each other. And one, and then two, if anything was to happen to you today, God forbid, that's not what I'm saying at all. But if anything was to happen to you today, you want your son to be secure. You want the woman that held you right, down sure. to be secure. You want to make sure that that union is important and I she feels respected and loved and that the person that she is sacrificing whatever shit that she probably really wants to do. She's doing that for you because she's trying to be there for you and she deserves for y'all to lock in because, again, what matters is y'all son. Y'all decided to have a kid. But what's Let me ask you a question. About wait, 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 no, wait, because wait, wait. you know, because, girl, I'm going to tell you from my perspective. I done been on vacation mad times. <laughs> I, done, I wait, know what the, the fuck goes the... on on vacation. <laughs> you're not about going to lock it down. DR. <laughs> my nigga, you're not going to DR. I know, oh, niggas. I've yo, been outside for too fucking long, bro. Yo, you're not going to DR. Yo. You're not doing it. Bitches are selling for 30 fucking dollars. Yeah, like, you're not doing I know yo. what the hell is. Okay. Actually. Look, 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 look. Yes. <laughs> no, at the end you of the day, yeah. I'm not it having ain't, it, ain't it like that. I'm you not having it like that. <laughs> like, y'all can trust whoever y'all want, either. but I'm not. No. You can't go? I can't go to I, DR. I can't go to Colombia. I know you can't. What? Bro. Okay, so we just talking about like different we love situations. Him. We love what a Colombia. Say, we have to understand something. You like can't talk this anymore. is just. I'm gonna say this for He's men. A rich and, dude, y'all. Like I'm gonna say this for men and women, right? Those I ain't are gonna, throwing the coochie left and right. But that's gonna be here. That's gonna be no, anywhere. No, you're not going. It doesn't. Okay. I'm coming. Me and a baby. What up? <laughs> yeah, no, you like, we going. We going. Nah. Let's do right, whatever you pack my bag. This is the respect I'm talking about. Let's do it together. <laughs> Bring the nanny. Let's do it together. But you know. Alone at DR. But Jada, so here's the thing, though. I'm we got to understand something, right? Especially 26 years old. We're all fairly very young. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we all are. <laughs> fairly. Like, Aaron's a little we older. We all are so young. <laughs> Aaron's a little older than us. You better hope you look this good. Not hold I'm on. Trying, I'm trying. I'm, I'm wanna, drinking my water. Where's my camera? Because I really just want y'all see how Rico. Since we have another fellow 26 year old on the the couch today, he's linking himself with us. We are young, okay? <laughs> Basically, Usually, I was a senior when y'all was a freshman. That's all. Not, we still <laughs> uh -uh, in high school together. Now he likes you know people yeah. early young. Uh uh. But look, but anyway, I'm gonna need, uh, all right, look, look, look. But focus. I, you so crazy? Look, whatever. So the the problem is. If I'm 26 years old, if I'm 28 years old, if I'm 33, 34, 35, if I'm going to lock in and say forever, you're not going to restrict me from life. Because if we're going to be going another 40 years longer, 50 years longer in a relationship, 60, 60 you 60 for sure. You 26. You definitely got, first, like, <laughs> yeah, you know. So all me? I was saying was just have an understanding. But no, no, no. It's not a, no, no, no. Because then we get the. I know what happens in DR. And then somebody watches Jada saying she knows what happens in DR and thinks that her man is going to do what, what I'm happens not, in I'm DR. Not I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> it's already implanted in my brain now. Exactly. You see is. what I'm saying? But that's not fair because especially if I'm the dude holding Bad everything influence. down. What's going to happen in DR? Bad influence. He going to go face. chill. He had five months no, of no, getting... No, no, no. Don't look at Rico. Say it with a straight face. He can't say it on camera. <laughs> What's going to happen in there? I don't know. Choke He's choke never been there. No, I've, been, I've been there. Oh, Rico. Okay. All right. Rico. So, just, so he was chilling. <laughs> People just drink hookah and go out to the clubs. Same thing that out. happened in Brooklyn. Go indictment. To, go to... Uh, I don't know. Go to the Capitol. You go to... Uh, What's up? Uh, Punta Cana. You go to the resort. Yeah. All right. Eat some fish on the beach. No, y'all be... Go on a boat. <laughs> I'll act stupid. I'll act like all the the providers are just gonna go to the ER and just sit there on the yeah. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, when does a provider get to? When does a provider get to we're breathe? Talking about he's talking about if he takes care of the household, can I go on vacation? That's what we were talking about. Can well, you go on vacation? Yeah, Why do you have to think he's gonna be bad? This is Eric's perspective, which is always an argument. Made the table you look like a therapist. Eric. You look Eric. like. <laughs> So my perspective, and I totally understand where you're coming from, um, but my perspective is if somebody wants to do something, they're going to do it in Connecticut, mm -hmm. they're 
They're going to do it in Bushwick. They're going to do it in the, the Bronx. Dutty Bronx. <laughs> They're going to do it. The Duttiest. They're going to do it anywhere. So in my mind, I don't care. I need my freedom, so I'm not going to restrict yours. But see, what you cannot do is tell me where I'm not going. Mm-hmm. Period. And because that is the freedom that I require. I'm going to give the same thing. That's what we pay for, though. But that's... No, no, no. See, see, see? That's what I don't like. But thing is, that is what I don't like. That's what like. we pay for, no, though. But listen, <laughs> that's what I don't like. And that's what I'm saying is the issue. But, but, but what, what is it? What is it? You, you, you can tell he's single. Who, me? <laughs> you see? Nah. Say it, say it to the single? microphone, yeah. Edgar. Say, say he's nah, single, right? The way he was taught, though, he was single. Was on. Yeah. I got you. We don't Look, be understanding it either. It's, a, it's, a, it's been working for three decades. Anyway, I be um, trying to help him out. I be trying to help him out, but he just be digging himself in a hole. Okay, so, me? so this is and so I understand. Like I said, and I get your perspective on this, but what is it you're paying for? Right. Your your efforts you go go to the bills. My efforts go to maintaining what your efforts purchase. Well, I, so why so why would I not be entitled to the same level of freedom? Well, the difference is when you talk about Aaron. Aaron also works, right? I have one of my wealthy friends, he said, I pay for everything in this house and my wife does not pay for anything and hasn't worked in 15 years. I pay for obedience. This is real. And loyalty. That's the only, I'm paying for obedience and loyalty. Get me out of this contract. But but but, right. but that's the reality though. Like, I mean, not death row. They're married. Yes, they're married. I need out. <laughs> they're married. I need I out. Need out. <laughs> but you can't. But the thing is, I'm the thing, the thing is, <laughs> when you I know, I when you got her. two Rolls Royces in your house, I don't give a damn, right? right? I'm not saying everybody's different. I got two Hondas. But when you got two Rolls Royces <laughs> in your need. house and a million dollar, two million dollar crib, and you getting to live certain lifestyles, you got to understand what come with it. So you can't get the same freedom. If you're not paying to play now, you on a on a different Aaron the Renegade, you work, you 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 do more than the average one that would be with somebody who's a millionaire. You feel what I'm saying? So it, that's why, but that's also why you work. You work for your freedom in your relationship. Because um, if what sorry. she works because she's an independent. I don't think for that's the freedom. Why. The for, Alan, please, you're please, Alan, just please get up. Alan, the audience. Come over here. Come over here. The mic. Yeah, the audience is having a hard time. My bad. My bad. We Everybody all are. On YouTube. Listen, one of the most contradicting things that people don't want to admit, the fact is that most men who are high earners, they earn high because they have freedom. Once you take that freedom, they will not be earners. Thanks. They need the freedom. Men need freedom to earn. Once you restrict that freedom, they stop being earners. That's what women don't get. You try to take that freedom, you're going to take that Why money. Why you mad? Exactly. I love this. Can you, you say that twice? Because Al- Alan is projecting back in my house. big time. <laughs> so that's Cap. Real Did quick. you take my freedom? Real quick, Edgar. You take our money. Yo. Cheers to that. Let me, let me ask Edgar now. Yo. Edgar. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Hobbs is going home. Wait, but you got whole new rules he's going you, home with today. Okay, I'll so, tell you that one, so real quick. Can your girl go on a girl's trip with no issue? 100%. Absolutely. That's good. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's a healthy relationship, though. First of all, I I feel like if you can't be an earner once your freedom is taken, where was your ambition to begin with? What are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, wait. Why does your ambition lie with your freedom? Alan just talking, child. He always just talking because that didn't even really make no sense. Now, you got to really be realistic. Like, it depends on what you do, right? If you have something that's a skill, for example, his skill is boxing or talent. Well, both, right? So that's something that doesn't need to necessarily go out and mingle. He just needs to work, perfect his craft, and then deliver when it's showtime, right? If there's somebody who's a networker and you're trying, let's say if you're an actor, you don't even get an acting job until you network. If you're a model, right? You don't even get a photo shoot until you network. Like those freelancing jobs, you have to have freedom. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's difference. Not not everything, you know, requires the same things. But yes. I'm just saying, put your drink down before you spill it. Oh, no. You want to take the shot? Yeah, I'm going to take it. I've been holding I'm, this for too long. General, no, you just if, if, you just picked it back up. Train. Don't take it yet. Cheers. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold Cheers. On. Three, no. 
We can't hear you, Alan. So we're going to shout out to Unique Brooks. Unique, we'll get to you. Your comments in a second. Unique. She just came can back, you know? We're going to, no. we're going to, no, no, we're, no, no, no. we're going to cheers to, uh, we're going to cheers to Edgar's win last week. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. Oh, Rebel, cheers. Man. Cheers. Yo. Big garden cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers. And Madison Square Garden. Many more, many more. Going, 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 going. She said, hey, T.O. Does that have a... Uncle, right? Does that have a... Yeah, but it's not. Have? But T.O. is like... Uncle. You got something? Wait. It's you a, got it's uncle and Poppy? Aaron does have the minute. Mm, okay. Uncle, uncle, uh-huh. It's not... It's not no, that, that's his uncle. That's his nah, uncle. but I'm saying she she said it <laughs> mad. No, American. Like American. T.O. <laughs> like T-E-O. T-E-O. I got another question. Like <laughs> Go ahead. I need one more question. I'm glad you're having a good time. Go ahead. Tell us. I'm having fun. That's good. <laughs> oh, that's why you should have kept this. That's why that I was kept intense. It. Wait, hold up. All right, so. All right, so we want to Wait, he has no, a question. Hold on, Alan. You got a question. All right, so. No. All right, look, this no. is. A little bit too much. I just, all right, another question for the girls. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> I identify. My fault. <laughs> My fault. It's, okay. um, it's ma'am. Relationship, right? It's ma'am. <laughs> Threesomes mm-hmm. with your man. Mm-hmm. Would you allow it or no? Nah. That's trash. I'm already, y'all already know my answer. Nah. I don't know. I'm, to be honest, I'm sort of open to anything. <laughs> She's <bitch>. also married. <laughs> Which makes it even better. Don't, don't you got an understanding. Why don't I count? You better throw a four like this. I'm not going to cap. She already gave her answer. <laughs> you got to do this. I would definitely, <laughs> I would, I like women. I, like I was about to say, Jada like bitches. She's, <laughs> she's like, oh, but want to know something? But want to know something? Like, Sometimes when you're in a relationship, it the guy don't be really wanting to do it, to be honest. It's like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, okay. See, yeah, again, yeah. like, I'm just on a different level, my man. I don't know, man. Take a shot. I need to go nowhere else. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm with this shit. Like, whatever. But I just you know. feel like if I'm emotionally attached to anybody in this threesome, it's not going to happen. But, like, not a regular thing. He's it's kind of like... It's okay. kind of, it's not a, I wouldn't want to be like, oh, every night, let's do it. Let's do this. Garden you know what I'm saying? Game. But if we're on a vacation and the vibe is right, I'm like, I love good vibes. And if it just happens, it just happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, why are you looking at that bitch? Like, you know, like. Uh, I like her too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's have a good time. We get one life, yo. All these what about rules, you? all this What's shit. Your- I think I'll be nervous, yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nervous? No. You, I told you. Her to not nervous is like, be... I because it's just shit could go left, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, going to need my medal soon because everything I say out. be he straight back. start bugging out and something new. I need my <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> medal. Yeah. Like if shit, if we, if shit getting, like I, we spoke about this before, you know what I'm saying? Like shit's happening and she and turned to happening. somebody else. She's like, she see me hitting all the chicks. She's like, what the nigga? What? You know what I'm saying? Stop. <laughs> Fuck him, yeah, man. Oh, fuck him. Now he's boxing. You're not supposed to come with the other girl. <laughs> yeah, that's another Supposedly. Thing well, first of all, she's not going to hit you because you're going to... Read some etiquette. You know what I'm saying? Don't. I don't, yeah. know girl, I don't know he said his girl got hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I think that, like, I've heard that in situations where women have threesomes with their man, I, guys usually say, like, the girl gets crazy because they feel like you're putting all the attention on the other girl, and then they might think that there's side relations going on, or, like, you're not supposed to... I don't. I don't know. Don't kiss no, her in the mouth. That. Yeah, like, I don't know. Don't come. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, wait, so you can't come with the other girl? With the other girl. I mean, that's those, that's those are things crazy. that I've heard were issues. That's only fair. I mean, it depends on how often we have in threesomes. Girl, I think gonna do you the work, to do establish it. the rules as a couple. Yeah. Well, here's the, my rule. Don't tell me that you had threesomes before and tell me you're not going to have a threesome with me. That's a, that's a rule. rule. Like, but this is... Because if no, 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 that's cool. No, I wasn't going right? to have an no. issue with that. Right. That is a stupid rule because if I said that I had a, if I, no, but if I said that I had a, yeah, Alan, shut like, up. She, she mm-hmm. does, she does, oh, you got to pick, like, <laughs> I got to pick the girl. So I'm not picking the girl. That's already Stop adding like heat. Business. Yep. Okay. Okay. Adding heat up. to the, like, why are you adding more? <laughs> Wait, you pick the girl and she'd be like, oh, you like her? Nah, I'm not picking, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you think she pretty? What you like, what, her boobs big? You like her ass? Oh. What you like about is she her? like that? The rule number <laughs> one is, is like, you, you like have to let the woman take the lead, and you have to nah, establish the rules. About, like, nah, nah, chicks, nah, I always, nah, she, nah, she, nah, she nah, no, 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 no. It's like, Alan. She's she talking too much. She's probably into voyeurs if she wants to actually watch. Okay, Alan, don't make assumptions hey, and get on the definitely mic. Definitely making assumptions. Like what? That, you just that was a reach. That was that was a very much a reach. I don't know what that was. First of all, Alan, get out. 
I just want my medal because I know like I know you be hearing it, but you be, you don't be trying to give me my little props. But it's cool. It's all good. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, what are we know. talking about? What else you want to know, hey, girl? You, you like you got a whole over your head. head. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like we. Yeah, yeah like uh, that was like the two okay. ma- major questions. Okay. Right what you ain't got nothing really, else? That was it. Let me think. <laughs> and I feel like there's some stuff you really want to know. Yeah, something. Yeah. yeah he, no, no, no. He's trying to, he trying to get to, he you know, he trying to figure yeah. some shit out that he could bring. So you know, these girls were saying, <laughs> he like, he like, while I'm right. here, like, you yeah, yeah, like they, they I could go to Colombia. <laughs> but you know, like you're so young, like you could, you know what? If you got a dope girl, y'all can really enjoy ourselves and have a great time. And you got somebody that really loves grow you together. for you. Yeah, you right. got somebody that loves you for you. Like, don't take that for granted. No, no, like, you sure. guys, figure out what you're gonna do to have fun. Love each other, be there for each other. It's a lot of shit, like with social media, everything. It's a lot of phony, fake shit going on. And if you got somebody, it ain't shit out there for real. Everybody that no, comes, no. all these women, they're looking at your jewelry first. They're looking at oh, what you can, yeah. what you can do for them. They're looking. They're trying to get spoiled. They're trying to be city girls. You, you, you don't even know how to be a city yeah, girl. Like, stop yeah. it. <laughs> you don't even know how. You don't even know. You, you, you never read the handbook. No. You get what I'm saying? So they're just looking at you, thinking like, oh, I got my shit. Like, I look good. So, girl. But that's why it's, you you keep yourself in that mind frame. You, you you're already grounded. If you can discipline yourself with your career and you can not drink and you can you already know what it takes to be disciplined. You already know how to not fall into the pressures of everything. Yeah, for sure. Keep that being that person. That's strength. That's really like something that I admire because you are already able to to say fuck it. I got to do what I got to do and just keep that same mentality. Whatever you have going, whatever issues you have with your relationship, if she truly loves you, she's going to be able to have those hard conversations with you. It's not going to come easy. Everything is hard work. I'm only telling you this because it's something I'm experiencing. Yeah. I've had to take accountability. I've had to really like apologize for things. I had to really look into myself and be like, you know, you have to change. You have to grow up. You have a kid now. You have so many things that like life is going to challenge you. But again, when you have a good person in your corner, you need to value that person and you just need to talk to each other so that you guys can both have a, an enjoyable life. Fine. Together. Mm-hmm. Can I can I add to that just as a very small piggyback? Um, uncommunicated expectations. So we talked a lot about roles, like the role you play, you play whatever. Um, a lot of times we fall into the roles, and when you fall into the roles, um, expectations go uncommunicated. And so that's how strife happens. That's how arguments happen. Yeah. Because while we know people can't read our minds, mm-hmm. we still expect them to read our minds. Absolutely. You know, and that that's a terrible place to. I'm sorry, I feel like this shit is in my face. <laughs> um, that's that is a terrible place to start, but like that's where things really go awry. Yeah. It's just having like expectations like not communicated. So that would be like my. I mean, you've already gotten through something very hard with her, you know. Yeah. So if you feel like this is your person. Make sure y'all have those conversations, like Jada just said, because you about expectations, because you, that's where resentment resentment happens, mm-hmm. and that's where you know people start. That's where like the, a disconnect happens, yeah, and fine. the disconnect oh, yeah. becomes pervasive. So it starts like this, and then like a cancer cell it metastasizes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know what I mean. It just grows, and then now the shit is fucked. Mm-hmm. So and don't let her lose herself. You know, make sure you no, stay. Yeah, on I'm her. always, I'm always, um, I'm always like, uh, yeah, he's pushing her. I feel like right now, like. When she got with me, she was, um, I don't feel like she was like as grounded as she is mm-hmm. now. You get what I'm saying? Like when she got with me because of, you know what I'm saying, my career and everything and my pops, man. Like I am who I am today is because of my pops. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? He an OG. Pops, you know what I'm saying? He did. He Happy did belated time. Father's he Day. For me, you know what I'm saying? For, for about 12, 13 years, you know? So he wasn't in my life for a while because of jail, you know what I'm saying? Came back home. So I seen my dad get it. Lose it, mm-hmm. get it again, lose it, and he got it, and we ha- he haven't lost it. You know what I'm saying? Like we mm-hmm. now we are here. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, with just him guiding me in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like me being who I am, you know, I transition. I'm, I'm teaching her. You know, like she right. she's you know now she's a mother, so it's just right. different now. But but like I we were that. saying, it's easy for a woman. Like I think Rico was saying it or something. It's easy for a woman to lose. Like they're just 
so invested in everything that you have going on that sometimes they lose themselves or they lose yeah. their 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 vision of like the goals they have for themselves, the, the things that they're capable of. You know, like a lot of women, when you have a good woman, she has great ideas. She has like a lot of things that can become successful as well. You can have multiple businesses. You can have a lot, have a lot of other, you can have a lot of other things to invest in so that you're not just fighting, fighting, fighting and not having any other things that are like, you know, that have you grounded. Put her mm-hmm. to work. Tell her whatever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that you think you're great at, let's work on it. Take some classes, get licensed in something, yeah. you know, and then let's open up a, you know, an estate, like something, you know. Yeah. So just don't let her just be like mom and taking care of home. Make sure that she has, some, has her own life and you her. guys are both going to be good with that. Because I'll be telling her. And you know guys love a boss chick. Yeah, hell yeah. Guys she, love a boss yeah. chick. Most attractive. Guys it's lo- the most attractive. Yeah. Do they? Guys no, love a boss. Most Guys love a boss. People, they be in the comments talking about they hate an independent They like a woman. boss chick that's not bossy. They hate yeah. Yeah. They hate Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, they hate yeah, yeah. No, but those are certain kind of men. Like a boss likes a boss, period. They like to... They like a girl that they can brag on. Like real men like a woman that they can brag on. A woman that like a trophy Boy. wife. Like a woman that looks the fuck good, gets her bag. She getting out the car looking like money smelling like Boy. money ass. Yes. Be in a gym. Like that's my bitch. Just like right. I like how my Data's man. I like to look at my man and be like, yeah, he that you see us? Yeah. That's my man. I have a two Hundred percent right. All right. Here's what I'm hearing here? from a no no no. Here's what I'm hearing from a production standpoint, right? Can you be too young to be in a relationship? That's part one. Part two is that, can you navigate through all the BS from 26 to 96 to 106? Like, meaning that you're, you see your career. You could see your career as clear as day, right? Yeah. You know where you're going. You could see yourself at 45 years old. You could see yourself at 50 years old. You could see all the success of your career. Is it the same thing to see when you're in a relationship? Like when you with the person, like I could see myself, like you always say this, I could see myself with this person as being the person I'm going to be with when I'm 80, when I'm 70. How do I navigate through that? Because then that makes your risk and what you're willing to do in a relationship less and more. Meaning that if I see, if I'm 26 and I see myself with somebody when I'm 66, there's things I'm not going to do at 27 or 28 and 29 because I'm invested over time with that person. So does that mean, can, can you be too young to be like, you know what, I can't see this yet or I can see this now? That's my question. Can you be too young to be committed long term? Yeah, I think you could. I mean, I feel like I'm doing <clears throat> it now. I'm 26, but I just feel like you just have to have the right person. Mm-hmm. When you have the right person, that right person that you have, you could eventually see yourself like grow grow, and you just see the future you know what I'm saying sometimes it don't happen like that sometimes I know pretty sure you was in a relationship or you was in a relationship with a girl or you was in a relationship with a man and you like I see myself with this person and it don't end up right you know what I'm saying so cause you gotta build a friendship first sometimes sometimes the, the friendship is like really important one and two you know what I've been learning like relationships sometimes save you like in a way where it's a lot of shit out there like it's a lot like I, I know rappers say, and stuff that's Every town they go to, every state they go to, they just fucking to the point like, are you healthy? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes just having a rock, like having something that you value and not wanting to, you know, like you want to protect that and that in a way protects you. And I think sometimes when you hold on to that, you can have longevity and you can respect it more instead of just being out there wilding out, looking for more, looking for more. Like, of course, you'll meet another woman. If you know, if you really you're going to always meet women or whatever. But again, like I feel like it's a safety thing. And I feel like at any age, you can be able to fall in love with somebody or build a good friendship and a good bond and just respect it and grow. Years be flying anyway. By the time you hit 30, them shit's going to be coming like, I'm like, damn, it's tax season again? (laughs) You know, it's crazy. I think you can be too young for a relationship if you're not established. Mm -hmm. If you're young and you're in a relationship, that's your blessing. Because it's easy to be distracted when you're 24 years old, 25 years old with hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars. You will actually destroy everything you got. Mm. But if you have a relationship and a family that grounds you and makes you actually have priorities and responsibilities of a man, because most 24-year-olds are not a man yet, and you're forced to become a man with your success, you can amplify your success and then you can also build a great foundation for your family and your child. So you're in a perfect position. You know what I'm saying? You're in a, a blessed position. 
Now, if somebody who's 24 years old that's just trying to find their way, maybe a relationship might not be it for you because you still got to figure you out. You know, most kids don't even know themselves. Most 21-year-olds, 22-year-olds don't even know themselves yet. Um, so, again, I do think it just depends on where you're at in your life while you're young. Some people get the, you know, get everything up front. Some people have to get everything on the back end. You know what I'm saying? But depending on where you're at, once you're at that point, value it. I mean, if you got a good girl and you 26 years old with living your dream life with a healthy baby. Make it beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, with a beautiful yeah, family. Yeah, definitely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's where you need to be at because the distractions are always going to be there. Be there. Even for athletes, No matter what age, yep. though. Athletes. You just said everything I said just classier. <clears throat> yeah, no, but but because I agree because, <laughs> listen, I was... I was young when y'all y'all saw me going to Columbia every month. I was lit. I was That's up. I just, uh, <laughs> bro, Spain. I don't with I traveled twelve countries in one month in one year. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I went to three countries in one month. Mm -hmm. In August, I went to three countries in one month. Like I was a kid from the project. You never even heard of that, but I destroyed a good relationship. I destroyed a lot. I I lost all the money that I got. I, I actually acquired karma, got further right? Than that. You know what I'm saying? I drifted <laughs> off, and I was telling everybody around me, "Yo, I'm spiraling downhill," and they thought it, was, "Oh, yo, you're good." Nah, until you really hit rock bottom. So, you know, in this second part of my life, you know, I'm healthy and 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 grateful that I have a family, that I have a responsibility to keep me grounded. So, you know. You being young in a relationship, you can definitely do it because you're in the proper position to do it. I feel like, too, like the greatest people in, in life, you see Jay, you see Kobe Bryant, you see LeBron, the list could go on, bro. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We're just great athletes, great human beings that who made it in life. They got families, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You look at the ones that, you look at the ones that don't got a family, that's not in a relationship, mm -hmm. they all over the place. Yeah. Future. <laughs> the only, the only one yeah, I could, the only listen, the only <laughs> one the I could Scorpios. Here, the, the only one I could sit here and say that I never seen like in a relationship and had like a hundred girls is Floyd Mayweather. He's the only. I was gonna say that too. He's the only guy. He's the goat bro. though. Like he's. But that's. Like, he's, he's, but he be having fun him. though. Yeah. <laughs> but there would never be another him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I look at that and I'm like, that's him. Like I seen fighters trying to live his lifestyle and they ended up going nowhere. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. But it's like you can't do that. Like it's only one him. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't like like I said, LeBron, Kobe, like these guys got families. They got yeah. you know what I'm saying? When you have a family, you have a girl, I feel like everything, your structure is way more mm -hmm. that helps you visible. Get, yeah, yeah like, it's, like it's just better. It's just the foundation is but, just better. Yeah. And also remember everyone that you named have gone through things like publicly. Yeah, yeah. It ain't always going to be easy. Fuck. The noise out. They talking about LeBron. They talking about LeBron now. LeBron. I don't even want to talk about nobody's business. They, 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 um, they was getting at LeBron. Listen, everybody is, has issues, known, right? You know, keep yeah. your business to yourself. <laughs> keep, keep it off the inter Keep your business off the yeah, internet. Yeah. Nah, you know what it is? Because listen, bro, you're in the, we're all in a world where... We're all in a world where your relationship is going to make it public when you're a star. I don't care who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just got to tune the noise out. Both of you, you know what I'm saying? The girl and the guy, Both. or whatever you know your situation is, you gotta tune the noise out. Never let outside opinions destroy yeah. your house. Mm -hmm. you, you know what's you know what crazy too? This is my first real relationship. You feel I've good, never, don't it? No, I've never been in a relationship. <laughs> like, damn, I, I was, I was, I would talk to girls for three, four months, and it was like, ah, I'm packing her up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next, right? Next one come three, four months. Next, like yeah. it was just like that, like. My I'm about to be on your like, page like, like we're home girl like, she got it. She, it. she got it. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> and then I so got what? with her and it was like, mm -hmm. it was over. Like, that's when Pop see me. He was like, yo, he would tell me everything. Yo, in Spanish, he's like, yo, tranquilo. <laughs> tranquilo, <laughs> tranquilo. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he's seen it already. Like, he's just, he just seen it going so far. But he was like, about to jump, lie, was about the, to jump off a roof. <laughs> listen, during the pandemic, it gave people a chance to, like, really slow down and really, like, I'm, I'm sitting in the house with you. We making jokes. We drinking. We playing Uno. We playing the game. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. we, you just getting to know somebody. And a lot of times... That's why people are not in relationships. They moving too fast. They moving too fast. They got they're they're not really like you, when you take the time to get to know people. You know, 
you really might create a good bond with somebody. Yeah, but it's like, we true. don't really do that anymore. We don't just take our time and date like that. I don't think. What do y'all think? Speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> well, look, well, because I'm not going to lie. Me and Amanda always used to say. Hit, if the pandemic was a hit, I, you know me, I would have had to probably spend a little mm. bath party, go to the restaurant. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go here, go there, go here. Pandemic it was, was like low pandemic. key. Pandemic. It was like, yep. It was cool. You, were you, were we hanging out in the park, or we nothing. going to my crib? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> that was you the can't best. do anything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had. I had to go. I had to That's go to East New York and go pick up some fucking right. some pasta from <laughs> some <laughs> chick's crib. That you know what I'm saying? I was cooking from my house. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we just had a vibe out like that. Well, me not breakfast. I cook. The breakfast. The pancakes. No, the just add water. Yeah. Wait, NASA's what? Wait, say it again. That was so unrelated. Oh. Alan, we're not going to spout. I was about to we're not spout a conspiracy what, theory. A lot of people would be fucked right up. Now. We're about to rap, but here's a conspiracy theory. No, 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 no. That'll be fire. <laughs> what I'm saying is that meaning that at the end of the day, only real connections could navigate this. Yeah. Time. We yeah. on a stoop. We braiding hair. I wouldn't even be mad if the internet was <laughs> down for three months. I'm not going to lie I'm actually, I agree. I be wanting right. to delete all my, my social media pay, so mad, so bad, but <laughs> my I Apple just be Pay, like my business. I'm not gonna lie, you start seeing, you start seeing motherfuckers real life. You heard? Mm-hmm. Like, let me see what you, how you living now, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so let me see you. No, we were all. If, you ever seen the Wiz? Everybody, when everybody just woke up and was like, "Can you feel the <laughs> brand new day?" It's like everybody would be coming outside, and all of a sudden you looking at trees, and now you smelling the air. You, you know, we gonna come out of that. That la la robot. That la la. We all in la la land yeah. sometimes. So I got a question before we sign off. Do you got any upcoming fights that you already got planned? Yeah. Um. So you know we um we already got a fight date. It's October. I say here yeah, October twenty first. You know um I'm trying to I'm trying to take it back home to Puerto Rico. You know hasn't we haven't had a fight in Puerto Rico in a long time. You know what I'm saying with a fighter like that's as big as me. So we trying to work on that day right now, trying to get a Puerto Rico date. Um, you know, you got Canelo Alvarez that's yeah. right now September. Um, you know, if he wins, I win October. You know, I'm looking at be looking at fighting for all the belts next year. Yeah, okay. please do. I, I didn't hear it. Oh wait, before we get to that, cause I almost got excited. Uh, are we invited to the October <laughs> yeah, fight in Puerto Rico? Yeah. 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 I already missed Thank last me. week. I was upset Jesus about that one. <laughs> I was waiting for that part. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving y'all, listen, I'm giving y'all, we, yo, Pops, how many tickets? You got, got hats and t-shirts. I want to come. Gotta, we got to give away like, we're like how, many, how many y'all here? Seven, eight? <laughs> like eight tickets. We give, you know what I'm saying? We I'll appreciate it, man. You Listen, you've been a blessing. Fun. We definitely, we definitely appreciate you pulling up and, and sharing all of your perspectives and, and life. Crazy. Yeah. I'm glad that you were asking questions. And shout out your yeah. Instagram. You didn't tell them where they oh, could my, follow yeah, you on man. Instagram or whatever. Edgar Berlanga. My Instagram, uh, Twitter, Agabalanga Jr., Facebook, Agabalanga. But listen, man, keep doing your thing. You know, you got a, a lot ahead of you, and I think you're going to be very, very successful and great, man. I was proud, yeah, proud of you and proud to have you here with us at 8 at the Table. Everybody, there's a bunch of different ways you can support us. You can join a YouTube membership. You can get a date box subscription. The list goes on and on. Figure it out how you want to support us so we can keep giving y'all the content that we're giving y'all. And we'll see y'all next time at 8 at the Table. Is there... Edgar, y'all hiring? You need a nanny.